Coaches, Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so we can let you know when new content's been uploaded. More of what we do, okay? Um, again, when we're running triple option, there's a couple ways we can do it. Um, the way we really like to run uh, triple option the most uh, for us is we like to have, um, obviously, you're going to have a dive back. Uh, you're going to have a pitch back. The way we run it, we like to have a third guy kind of as an influencer. It can be our cruiser. It can be our feature. But coming across or same side, um, kind of giving an influence to this end. And what it really does, um, I think, is it helps It helps to clear up your reads for your quarterback. Um, and then what we also do, again, I, I've got a slide coming up too. Anytime we're running um, triple option, we're going to pair it up with split zone. Uh, and I've got some clips of both coming up of why it's important to incorporate both of those in, um, you know, and, and when we're looking at triple option, the, the first thing we're looking at um, and our whole team is going to communicate is, hey, what's the box that we're seeing? Um, and we're really worried about three boxes. Um, we've kind of adapted a fourth, um, but really we'll have, uh, again, a 4-2 box, a 4-1 box, a 3-2 box, and then more teams are kind of showing some, some double eagle 3-3 three, three stack type stuff. Uh, which again, I, I think there's merit to developing some rules for that, which we've, um, as we've seen it more, we've kind of um, translated into some more rules. Uh, but the first one we're going to discover um, is just a 4-2 box. Okay, And again, there, there's two ways, and it's got a lot of the, all, the old um, option terminology in it. Um, so we can always, our, our uh, cruiser coming across here, he can always five path uh, into the box. Again, the old option term, uh, five path into there. You've got your read, you've got your pitch, um, or again, this is typically how you'd like to run it with a 4-2. Uh, it's, it's just a lot more concise with this. If, uh, if for some reason, again, I'll, I'll talk once we get into film on it, but we can also get into an arc scheme off of this where we're reading this end and pitching off this backer. I'll show you kind of why you would want to get into that if, if a team's doing um, certain stuff to you. But again, we can do either one. You can arc it, you can five it. Um, and go from there. Uh, so we'll get into uh, get into a few clips here. Okay, so again, we'll get into um, you know with our with our gun option. One thing um, that we really like to do uh, is is get into a lot of different formations. Uh, again, I think the name of the game on offense is uh, trying to be as simple as possible. Uh, for your guys on offense, trying to be as advanced as possible uh, for a defense. You know, and again, I think one of the easiest ways to do that is just you can run multiple formations uh, to get all that. Defensive guys tend to, um, you know, kind of chase ghosts is what I like to say. If you show, you know, one play of spread and you run stuff out of it, they, they've got to practice a few plays out of it and it just takes time, um, you know, away from something else that they could be working on. So, again, you'll see a lot of different formations in here as we go along. Um, okay, but here we're going to be running triple option. Um, I'll call it triple option left here, uh, but that's just the way our old line's going to go. Okay. They're all going to be zoning left. Our options going to be coming back to the right. Um, again, this is going to end up being our read key. This is going to be end up being our pitch key. Okay. We've tagged it. We're going to be in the five scheme. So as we have um, our feature in this case coming across, Okay, he's going to be a read five, and he's going to be responsible uh, for that linebacker right there. Um, and I'll, I'll bump to the, the butt shot real quick. And what that does for your O-line, again, is we've got read, we've got pitch. Um, it allows our O-line to be really aggressive uh, on their angles. They can push this zone all the way out so we can get uh, these two O-linemen from tackle to that backer. We can get these two O-linemen from D-tackle all the way out of the box. And what you'll see what that does um, is that's going to put a lot of stress on this defensive end. Um, teams that typically, you know, want to try to play gray area or want to try to um, slide down, what it's going to do uh, is it's going to give us, again, this tackle is going to be able to really get out here and it's going to put a big gap in here where this end really is going to have to decide, hey, if you want to tackle the dive, you better get your butt down there. Uh, if you're defending quarterback, you better stay out here, and there's no way you're going to tackle um, the dive on that. But we'll go uh, back to our back to our wide view here uh, and just kind of watch it um, from the start here. 
again, we're going to communicate our box. We've got a 4-2 box here. Um, okay, we're off, running, reading. Okay, we get a guy out of his gap, um, and now we're off and running. Again, let's just talk first about this read key. Um, okay, our quarterback is going to catch this thing, and he's got to get his eyes uh, right to the read. Okay, and that's something we'll drill. Uh, we drill quite a bit. Um, it's just that quarterback can't be looking for the running back. As soon as he catches that thing, his eyes have to be on that defensive end um, to see what that guy's doing. Um, you know, and as, as far as what we teach uh, for that defensive end, again, it kind of varies. Um, we don't have one just cookie cutter. Hey, if he does this, do this. If he does this, do that. Um, you know, it depends on, on who you've got um, at quarterback. Okay, so – uh, again, not all of our quarterbacks are built the same, so some guys can't uh, outrun it. Some guys we don't want to keep it. Um, and so uh, we'll, we'll change that uh, just depending on week to week. And, again, it depends on who you're going up against, too. We see some uh, crazy athletic defensive ends in this league where, hey, if you, know, if, if, um, you think he can pop back out on you, we better hand that thing off. Um, so, again, we'll just kind of see here we get um, – he just comes up field. And it's kind of what we call airplane, and he doesn't get his arms really up to airplane. Um, but that's a pretty easy read for us. We're just going to give that thing. Okay, and one, uh, one other thing that we're going to do uh, is we come across on our five path. Uh, what we teach our five path to do um, is he's going to also read this thing just like our quarterback would. Both their eyes come to this D end. If this D end stays out, this guy knows, hey, quarterback's going to give it. Well, why? Why would we want to come out here? for the option if we know that thing's going to be a give, okay? We, we wouldn't. So we're going to go ahead, see he's upfield. Um, we're going to go insert, and now we'll take care of this guy who's still our responsibility on the five path. But, again, we know it's going to be uh, we know it's going to be a handoff here, okay? So you can see our running back insert there. We hand off. Um, we're off and running, again, O-line, because uh, they're able to have really good angles. We can get so much movement here. You know, and, and another thing that I think is crucial – uh, with us and running triple any anytime you're running it again you've got to get great fakes uh, here by your quarterback and your running back um, you know because we carry out this fake we got this middle field safety um, you know a couple yards out of his line and now that gives us the home run hit you know and it's, it's one of those things that you've really got to coach up on your quarterbacks I've got some clips on here um, where we didn't do as good with our fakes um, you know and what we try to tell these guys Okay, with, with TJ is, hey, your fake is not for the D end. We don't have to fake that guy out. We're reading him. He's going to know who has the ball. So if we hand it off, he's going to know. But this safety is the guy. Or these backers uh, might not know who has the ball. They might not have a clear view. And if they see you sprinting your butt out here, okay, they're more likely to keep chasing you. And now, again, we get them out of their, we get them out of their run fit, and now we can create um, some big plays here. Uh, really good job. Again, um, if you're going to be explosive in the run game, uh, your wideouts have to be willing blockers. Uh, we, we hammer those guys. Um, again, if, if your old line blocks it good, you're going to get, you know, at least five, six, seven yards. But now you get to the you get to that uh, third level. Now your wideouts got to be blocking uh, to get you your, your big plays. And again, we get our wideout here gets enough. We got the safety out. Uh, we're off, off and running to the end zone there, and we'll watch it again. Um, you know, here from the the tight view, and you can see again we're getting an absolute ton of movement here, and now you can see what this does to this defensive end here. He's got so much uh, area he's got to cover. Uh, again, if he wants to come tackle and make this play, he better get his butt down there, and now that makes it easier uh, for our quarterback to pull that thing. Hey, and again, really good insert. Our, our running back sees he's wide, so he's going to insert. He picks up that backer. Okay, and now there's our crease there. And off and running again, speed. Um, really good players. Uh, speed. Here's here's another fun way. Um, again, that way was, was diamond. Um, okay, and we'll come out here. Um, we're going to go formation into the boundary. Um, typically a, a fun thing to do against four, two teams, just to see what their answer is going to be. Um, you know, again, they typically have a, a, a field side backer uh, that they want to keep to the passing strength. 
Uh, and so you can go formation at the boundary and see uh, what they're going to do. You know, if they keep him to the field, you know, you've got your numbers back here to the boundary. If they bring him uh, down into the boundary, which is, is kind of what you'd hope for, uh, well, now you're going to be um, you're going to be going out to the field there. OK, and here we're just going to have again, it's our same read. Uh, we're just going to have a different presentation of how we're running option here. Okay, so we're going to sprint our slot. And now what we've done in this one um, hey, is instead of just a pitch, we were going to get this thing out farther and just make it a triple option throw um, just to really put stress on this guy to try to make it a little bit harder to gray area him. Um, another good teaching point here uh, with our quarterback, you know, as far as what we teach footwork wise, all he's going to do, um, he's going to catch that ball. He's going to plant his foot. Uh, and then we're just going to take one step. We're not a team that, that shuffles down. Um, we don't try to get really low. We're just going to keep this foot here. We're going to rotate plant. And then we're going to try to ride that thing as long as we possibly can before we make our decision. Um, and then the, the thing with riding it, which TJ does really well naturally, uh, is he's going to put all his weight on this leg. So now if he pulls it, he can really explode out to the field because he's got everything engaged uh, right here in his leg. So we're, um, again, great job by him. Again, we'll just work ride, pull, and now he can get out and run. And now he's attacking, um, obviously, our pitch, pitch defender. He stays wide. Uh, now we keep that thing. We're off running. Again, you've got to hammer your wideouts to block. we got a guy getting a pancake way downfield. Um, you know, and then obviously we're fortunate to have uh, number two there making a play. Okay, again, you can see um, what we got going on here, 4-2 box. Okay, we've declared this, um, that we're going to stay in the five scheme. Um, that's what we'd, we'd like to be in. Again, if we wanted to arc uh, out, we could. Uh, I'll show you again why later why you want to do that um, or what, you, what you'd be looking for. Okay, but again, here's going to be our read key. Here's going to be our pitch key. Um, and you'll notice here our cruiser, which is what we call our, our tight ends, H-backs. He's going to be front side. Um, and so we don't have the same influence as when he's coming across the line of scrimmage. Okay, but what our coach, um, what our, our coach will teach is he's going to step down um, and still read this guy front side. Okay, so he takes a step to read that end. He feels the end go in. Well, now he knows we're going to pitch that thing uh, out to the outside there. And so everybody, again, everybody's kind of reading the same thing. Quarterback's reading the end. Uh, our cruiser here is reading the end and all making that decision. Um, and again, one thing uh, these quarterbacks really got to harp on is ride this as long as possible. Okay, the longer you can ride that on one step, the better, because then you can't, you just trick these guys. Okay, if you make your decision too early, he can fall back in or he can trick you. Um, so we want to ride that as long as possible. Okay, and what we're going to try to teach our running back here um, is he shouldn't move. This is a great clip. He shouldn't be moving until our quarterback catches this ball. Um, okay, so as soon as our quarterback gets it, now our running back can be moving downhill. Again, if, if your running back's too fast, you can't read it. Um, and so that's something that we really, again, we really have to practice. Okay, and again, you'll see with, um, with this view here, okay, because we sprinted him out, um, again, it really puts our pitch key okay, in a bind. Coach is Rich Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. I really hope this video helps make you a better coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below so we can let you know when new content becomes available because we're all about coaches helping coaches. And remember, coach, better today, never as good as tomorrow.